create jobs right here uh, uh, in Maryland or we become the experts. My, that's my dream, to make Maryland the East Coast leader uh, uh, as far as the green movement is concerned. And green movement, I mean that by cre having more green jobs, uh, green technology, people using the green uh, technology and the green products that are there. We should become our own leaders, and I would definitely want to see Maryland as the East Coast leader here. So how do you feel that uh, your organization, We Green mm -hmm. USA, uh, which specializes in energy conservation, mm -hmm. how do you think that that fits into the policymaking process in Maryland and in your district? One, we need our conscience there. We definitely need our conscience anywhere we do, whether it's in business or in politics. Uh, once we lose that, we know what happened in the last financial meltdown, I call that. Um, we need somebody to make sure that our environment is retained. And, and I'm so glad I'm talking to you, Vikram, because my whole thrust has been that we have to keep and preserve for our next generation. And, in fact, my motto has been, and that's what I've been working, is that we have not inherited this earth from our ancestors, but borrowed it from our children and borrowed it from children uh, like you. And that's the next generation we have to preserve this. Uh, the environment, the earth, the planet, because if that's not there, nothing's there. Nothing matters. So definitely want to uh, be part of that and make sure the, the bills that are passed, the bills that I would initiate and uh, support and sponsor, keep that in mind. You addressed uh, the next generation, mm -hmm. and education is an issue of importance to the next mm -hmm. generation. So what sort of flaws have you seen with the current education system and what can be done to fix it to create a better foundation for students? Maryland has some of the highest rating as far as education is concerned. Maryland has been rated number one in the entire country uh, by one of the leading magazines uh, and leading research. But what people don't know or probably it has not come out is it's still rated B. It's not an A rating. I would like to promote Maryland to become an A-rated school. And, and for that, whatever needs to be done. When we talk about education, there are just two, two, two main parts of this equation, the student and the teacher. And that's what our whole focus should be. Make sure that the students who come out get the best education that's there. We are the strongest, most powerful, the richest nation in the world. We should be providing that, the best education to our children and our youth. The teachers, they should have enough incentive to teach the children. And, and that's, these are just the, the two most important parts as far as the education system. Everything else is a support system around that. And um, so I want to make sure that the teachers get the best, their salaries are increased, uh, even though, you know, these days people say, oh, salary increase, we are in a shortfall, we have budget shortfall. We cannot take out, take away money from necessity, necessary things that are there. Teachers are an absolute must in our society. So we have to make sure that the teachers get the best. Uh, changing gears a little bit, uh, the healthcare industry, healthcare system has faced many changes over the past few months due to the passing of the healthcare bill. How have these changes affected District 14, and what do you plan on doing to fix any of the flaws that exist and help certain sections of the population, such as the elderly, who have been affected by the changes in the health care system? I'm, gl I'm glad you raised that issue, uh, Vikram, because, again, um, keeping and making sure that elderly get the best care should be a basic core in our society. Uh, they have done their part. They paid their dues. These are the people that should be, be getting the highest respect in society and getting the highest care. Because the character of, I call that, the character of our nation is how well we take care of our sick and elderly. And definitely we can, I'm sure, take care of our elderly and our sick. Please tell some of our voters and viewers uh, what qualifies you as the ideal candidate for this position. Vikram, uh, I bring a lot to the table and I'll be taking a lot to the house. Uh, I have a lot of experience uh, from working in uh, corporations, uh, having my own small business, being the hub director on Barack Obama's campaign, 
And uh, being a hub director on Bar Barack Obama's, I'm not just talking about any hub director. This was in one of the most heavily concentrated Republican county. And, and we broke a lot, lot of barriers there, and we closed the numbers. We, were, we exceeded, far exceeded the targets that were given to us. Um, so that's what I am a solutions person. I'm an actions person. I don't call myself that much a words person as an action person. I have founded an um, environmentally conscious organization called We Green USA, which promotes energy efficiency and waste reduction. Uh, that's completely on a community service basis. Uh, I'm a volunteer on that, and we have a lot of volunteers on our group. So I'm uh, extremely, extremely community-focused, uh, Vikram, and that's, that's what gives me most satisfaction is when I can make a difference. I'm already working in the environment field, but I feel going to the house, I will be able to make a much larger difference and be able to positively affect a much larger group of people and the community. And I'm going to be a full-time delegate, bringing everything to the table and working extremely hard for the community, for the people, for the residents. Well, Vita, I must say it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. And uh, from all of us at Darshan, here's wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. the upcoming elections. Thank you. Vikram. Good luck. Thank you.